So here we have the Bruce as well. You've even got your own exercise area and it's voted the best ice cream in the UK, which is pretty interesting. Just like him, just sub him, it's Yasha Charm 21! Right guys, here we are at our first destination, the War Memorial in Prestwick. So here we have a wee little message. You can pause to read this, of course. And if we walk around it, we've got the poppies. You've just got a list of all the people from the first war and the second war. So here's the first. And then of course that's the second. And of course round about us we've got some nice flowers and a beautiful wee garden over here. Looks pretty nice to be fair, one of the best I've seen. As you can see, it's pretty nice as a whole. And here's the other bit. And here we have the ancient Mercat. You can pause to read this if required. They are very important to Scotland because it's a historic marketplace and a gathering place as well. So you'll see lots of town city villages in Scotland will have this. We'll probably bump into one in the near future as well. So now we're gonna move on to our next destination and I will see you when we get there. Here we have the Prestwick Beach. Looking nice and lovely. Pretty quiet today, I can't lie. Still to it now being the end of September. Although the weather is a bit windy, it doesn't affect how good this beach is and the sun's actually behind the clouds, it's just hard to see from this view, of course. So as we walk on, it's just the beach itself and in the sandy part you've even got the rocks as well. You could go all the way down but it will take quite a while to walk there. I've got a nice place to walk past, you can even take a good picture over here as well. The last time I saw one was back in Largs actually, which was about two years ago actually. Yeah, time does fly. You've got all this if you want to see it. You've even got your own exercise area. So we've got the bike, leg raises. But here we have it, we do have a nice exercise area. This area of the beach does seem to be a bit more popular. I'm not surprised there is more sand over here. And it just seems much more peaceful here as well. So we're going to stop here. This is the furthest I can go from the beach. So it's been a good experience overall. Now I'm going to go to the cafe in the beach, which we just need to walk all the way back from where we started. Apparently it's got very good ice cream and I'm going to go down there and let's give it a try. So here we are at the cafe and it's voted the best ice cream in the UK. Which is pretty interesting. So I've just came out of that ice cream shop and unfortunately for me, you need to spend at least five pounds if you want to pay by card. And I don't have any cash on me, so that's very unfortunate. But oh well, there's gonna be lots of other ice cream places nearby the air. So now we've left the beach and now we're gonna head to the back to the town centre, see if there's any ice cream to eat and I'll get back to you. So I went to a shop called The Chocolate Box, which is about four minutes from where I am at the start. So this is where we were at the beginning, where we saw the nice beautiful garden, which is right in front of me. And I got a chocolate waffle, which is just a cone, and then also a Kinder Bueno flavor. So I'm gonna assume this will taste like a Kinder Bueno. And I think it will taste good. It cost me two fifty, which isn't too bad to be fair. And the scoop does look quite big. So I'm gonna give it a try for you guys. 
pretty good. I did have a wee bite there just before I spoke to you guys, but I think it's pretty good overall. I'll give it maybe a seven and a half out of 10. I've had better ice creams in the past. So I'm now gonna finish this off and I'll get back to you. So I have just finished that ice cream and I can't lie with you, that is a very fair price. 250 for that ice cream, which is very fair. I can't lie with you guys. Now we're gonna move on to our next destination. Let's go. So here we are at the Prestwick Golf Club. So back 160 years ago, pretty long, 1851. And as you can see, it is incredibly massive. I thought I'd pop back here. This is actually near the beach as well. So I thought I'd go back here just to show you for any of you who are interested in golf. So this golf course is actually quite historical. It's hosted so many prestigious tournaments in the past, and it's also known for its rich history. So quite historical, quite interesting for you guys. Now we're gonna head back to the town center, show you more things to do. So here we are at the Tennis and Fitness Center. So as you can see, just walking through this way, but as you can see, we've got a wee tennis court over here. So you can play here, and here's the main building. We're gonna go through the other side as well. So the entrance is open, but there's no need for us to do that. As you can see down there, there's actually a play park over there as well. And if we keep walking on. So you've even got a bigger area there to play on as well. So here we have the Bruce as well. So it's actually kind of in the end of the roads. And there's not a lot to talk about here. Although the fact is about, it says special to Robert the Bruce who drank from this well and cured himself. And you can also read this as well. Pause to read if necessary. Here's another wee look at it as well for you. So guys, we have now reached the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I have enjoyed my time in Prestwick. Comment below any other places you would like me to vlog in the near future. Thanks a lot for watching. Make sure to like the video if you enjoyed. Comment below if you want to say something about the video. Make sure to share the video with all your friends to let them know what Scotland looks like. And most importantly, guys, you need to subscribe to the channel as you will follow my adventure in Scotland. Follow the adventure in Scotland. Thanks a lot, and I will see you soon. Goodbye, everyone. Just like him, just sub him, it's Yasha Charm 21!